Hi, in this video we're going to explain how to use HTML tags to create websites. What do the tags look like? We can broke down uh, the website tags into main three types. The heading, the body, and the footer. Okay, here we have the head tag. And here we have the body tag and here we have the footer tag and we're not going to use the footer tag it's not commonly used what does it look like here we have the head or the header where we're going to place the title the head tag is responsible for displaying a title for the website the body tag is responsible for displaying the content of the website. The heading or the titles, the paragraphs, uh, if we're going to add a hyperlink, if we're going to add a list, if we're going to insert an image, all of those will be typed inside the body tag. Okay? We're going to use Notepad as a software for typing in HTML codes. First of all, we're going to open Documents. Okay. Right-click, create a new folder. You may name the folder with your name or project 1 or assignment 1 as you like. Inside your folder, right click new if we don't have the option for creating notepad from the shortcut menu move to programs search for notepad okay file from the file menu click file save as okay back to downloads inside your folder I need to save my notepad inside the folder we just created okay now we need to change the file type instead of txt which is the file type of um, notepad we need to change it to be HTML so we're going to sorry back to documents project one we're going to delete this, name the notepad to be project1.html. Now we change it, the type of the notepad from txt to html. Click save. Back to the folder. Now we're having a file from type.html and the icon of the file change it to be Google Chrome double click okay now we're having an empty web page the first step will be typing an HTML L tag we're gonna type and open HTML tag okay I need to let my computer understand that I'm going to type HTML as we said in class if we're having an open tag we need to close the tag so create a close tag for HTML in between the open html and the close html we're going to type i'm going to take a space and type the head tag again if we're having an open tag we need to close the tag slash head okay then we need to create the body we just said that html tags are the head the body and the footer 
which we will not yani we're not going to use the footer okay so body we're having an open body tag it should be closed okay we can take enter space again body sorry slash body okay here i need to add a title for my website instead of project one okay type here a title tag okay between the open head and the close head type a title tag okay we're having an open title close title okay here i'm going to place the name of the website or the title of the website to be my first website okay from file save okay we're going to refresh the web page here to display the changes okay as you can see the title displayed here on the web page as my first website now we need to add a title or a heading now we need to add a heading for the website as long as we're going to add a content for the website it should be written between body open and body close so take the space enter heading and html are written as h okay h open and h close this is the tag i didn't add the slash this is the tag for headings or for titles to be displayed on the website we're having different sizes of titles or headings starting from one to six one is the largest one and six is the smallest one again we're having different sizes for the headings where one is the largest one and six is the smallest one okay i need to have my heading from size two so h2 and in between i'm gonna type welcome again file save move to the web page refresh now my web page displayed a title with welcome okay what if we change it h1 to be for example h5 okay from file save back to the web page refresh now we're having a smaller heading one remember one as the largest and six as the smallest okay change it back to three for example okay to display the changes file and save the notepad back to the page okay this one is moderate this is okay now i need to add a paragraph the tag for paragraph is p so open tag for p and before typing anything you need to close the p again closing p in between type in any paragraph for example welcome to my first web 
side. Okay. Fine. Save. Back to the web page. Refresh. Now we're having a paragraph displayed uh, on our website using the P tag. Thank you so much. To add a list to our website, we're having to to create an ordered list and unordered list as the list with bullets or with dots or to create ordered list the one with um, list items one two three four and so on for the unordered list we're having an opening tag with ul and a closing tag with ul for the unordered list we're having ol as the open tag and slash ol as a closing tag for each item on the list we need to add li slash this is the opening one and the closing tag slash li we're going to edit the project we created for last week assignment i have it here on documents okay and a folder named the project one here we have the HTML file. We need to open the HTML file uh, using Notepad. So select your file, right click, open web, and select Notepad. Okay. Uh, in between the body open and the body close, and after the paragraph tag, we're going to take enter and then type U L to create unordered list this is the open tag and we're having a closing tag with ul okay in between ul open and ul close we're gonna add list item number one this is the open list item and close list item for list item number one we're gonna type studying for next week computer quiz okay and for last item number two li we're gonna make it display the new changes on the website and file save double check okay here we have the heading and then the paragraph and then the unordered list with two list items we need to add a title for our list from here we can add a heading before the ul Remember, the heading has different sizes from 1 to 6, where 1 is the largest one and 6 is the smallest one. Open tag with H, we're going to make it 4, okay, and close tag with H4. In between H4 open and H4 close, we're going to type my 2 do less this to display the changes file say refresh now we're having a title for our list to change the list from being uh, unordered list to be ordered list to display the list uh, and one two three four we're going to change the UL to be OL, okay, and the UL close to be OL. File, save, refresh. Now we're having ordered list with two 
To add an image to your website, you need to use the following tag. The IMG tag is different from the paragraph tag and the heading tag. The starting tag is IMG and the closing tag is slash. In between, we're having SRC. An SRC representing the source or the name of the image. Then we need to add an alternative name, the alt. Okay. The alternative name is a name will be displayed if there is anything wrong with the uploading of the image. The name of the image is wrong, has something uh, wrong uh, with the spelling and so on. It will be displayed as we're having here an error and then the alternative name we wrote in the tag. To add um, an image to our website, we're going to download any image okay from google click here we're going to add um, a happy okay i have this image download any one okay this one is okay right click save image as okay and make sure that you're going to save the image inside the folder where you saved it your project okay the html file and the image should be placed it in the same folder from documents i'm going to select the folder of my project change its name to be happy for example and click save back to our folder now we're having the html file and the image in the same folder again to display the image correctly on the website both the file and the image should be placed in the same folder back to the notepad after the ol close press enter then open tag img take a space src equal the name of the image should be displayed in between double quotations you can type the name happy okay dot j p g or from here you can right click rename and copy the name of the file and the type of the file after dot jpg as the type of the image you need to copy that all okay and place the name in between the double quotations now we need to add the alternative name or the alt okay again in between double quotation any alternative name we're going to name it happy okay and then close slash close okay file save from here refresh now we're having the image displayed on the website. What if we're having an error with the name of the image? For example, I'm going to delete one of the P. Okay, now the spelling of the image is wrong. So from file, save, refresh. Now it will display an error and the alternative name of the app. Hi, in this video we're going to explain how to create hyperlinks using HTML. Remember, hyperlinks are the piece of text or image when you move your mouse on them the mouse turns into a hand 
and when you click on them they will open a new page okay to create your project you need to open documents okay and in documents we need to create a folder named it project 3 inside the folder we're going to create our notepad so right click if you have the option for creating a new notepad it's okay new if you don't have the option for the notepad you can go and search all programs for notepad okay file save as from documents select project 3 change the name to project 3 okay dot html dot html as the type of the file say okay here um, in my project 3 folder um, I don't ha in this laptop I don't have a default uh, web browser uh, I didn't set Google Chrome to be my default browser or uh, Internet Explorer to be my default browser that's why it didn't change it to one of them I will right click open with Google Chrome and it will open an empty page uh, here in Google Chrome what if if you don't have the option of notepad what should you do back to the folder right click if you don't have a notepad new you can use text document okay I'm going to try it okay I created new text document rename it to for example project I couldn't rename it as project 3 I have already project 3 project okay here we have the text document just open it's the same it will be a notepad okay it's another name for notepad file save as do the same steps dot h t m l save okay open word okay google chrome okay in our notepad we're going to start typing the code to start typing html we need an open tag with html and a closing tag with html here in my case on or my laptop i don't have the slash okay so what should i do or some of you told me we don't have the sign of tag what should you do from here on screen keyboard okay on screen keyboard now you're having a screen here on your keyboard where you can select any thing you need so i'm going to select the slash put the mouse cursor here here i'm having a slash and select h t m l and if I need to close the tag, I'm going to select shift and here the tag. Okay, I will keep it here as I don't have a slash. So from here, open tag with head and the head tag will contain the information of the website, such as the title of the website. Okay close tag head okay and in between type title okay title again okay. here type my first project as the title
and here we need the body tag yes why do we use the body tag that will contain the content of the website the content of the website will be displayed in between the body open and the body close okay fine save back to google refresh now we're having the title displayed here if we need to create a hyperlink open tag uh, why did i repeat that tag this is the default tag you need to type it each and every time you're going to create a website using html so what do i have here is called the default tag you need to type it so you will be able to start typing html in between the body open and the body close you can have uh, a heading and a heading is different than the head the head tag will contain as we said the main information of the website your assignment for this week will be creating a website that contains okay uh, a heading a title using the h tag your assignment for this week will be creating a website contains a title using h tag a paragraph using the p tag a list using the ul for the unordered list the unordered list the one has bullets and dots ol okay the ordered list or you don't remember the codes of the ul or the ol they are um, we explained them i guess in the previous video assignment four and now uh, you can add a hyperlink okay and definitely you need to add an image okay read the instructions of the assignment and if you don't have um, or you had a problem uh, with the signs or the keyboard use the on-screen keyboard if you have a problem or you don't have uh, a notepad you can use right click here new you can use the text document it's the same as notepad thanks for watching